All right, so we're gonna walk through. Here's the pricing currently. It's uh, quite high demand here, so there's a very high, lumber costs are very volatile right now, so that's, um, they don't wanna release too many lots based on, just cause lumber costs keep going up. So we're gonna go through the Savannah first. And the Savannah is starting right now 382. So let's check that out. We're gonna widescreen this bad boy here. Get you a front view of that. And uh, so it's one story, four bed, two and a half bath with a great room and a three car garage. And it's not a, not a bad price starting at 382. Um, you know, even if you had 100,000 on there, it's still, it's still okay. Check it out. Oh, and it's locked. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Ooh, that's a nice look at look at this trim on here. I love it. Look at that. Give you some ideas what to do. I have a client, Jeff, who just did this same thing to his uh, beveled ceiling. It's a cool look. So this this whole wall is just trimmed out. Anyways, all right, let's go back to the floor plan here. So, kind of walk in, you got a nice wide hallway along to the left here, a nice wide opening which leads you to some rooms. So this is a little bit of sales pitch area. I'm trying to get you to learn about their homes here. This is a Beezer home, once again. Here's the bedroom, not super big. Decent sized little walk-in closet here though. So, kinda cool. Okay. So, a little office in the front with a bedroom, bathroom. another bedroom with a closet the closet is a little bit larger than the last one let's get back in there come So this is just a really wide space. I'd say this is about seven feet wide. And uh, let's swing around to the right here. It's gonna be your garage, but it's a sales office. So you can put a little um, spot for your shoes there or what they have here with the built-in shelves. And right here is the laundry room. And that's what that sign says. So don't mistake in it. All right. And that's a pretty decent size. So you know, trimmed walls. Super cool. Alright, so going into here, bathroom's out of order. <laughs> okay, so it's just a it's just a half bath. Just a half bath in there. And a living space, decent size. Okay. Large kitchen with the dining room. Backyard. Well, you know, let me get a little bit more here. So I do have a gas range. I've seen a lot of gas uh, gas in this community. So I do have gas hookups. Okay. Doesn't feel like the largest space right here. So spent a lot of the uh, square footage on that hallway. All right, let's get back in to see if I can go outside. Ugh. Okay, size patio here. And the yard feels pretty decent. A 
little skinny. I feel like it goes out uh, depth-wise more than it is um, width-wise. So that's that. Oh. So, all right. Let's go check. Uh, check this room. So there's a spider literally hanging right there. Look at that guy. Where is he? There he is. That's a spider. Okay. Must have ran into that. Okay, master bedroom. Once again, has the nice trim on the back there. I like that look. Oh, I think something's literally crawling on me. <laughs> All right. I'm not editing that out. That would be too much work to hear me cry like a baby. All right. Here's the bathroom. Decent size. There I am after having a spider crawl through my hair. On my hat, maybe. Good size master closet here. It's pretty big. Okay. And uh, bathroom. Plantation shutters. There's that. I think I got a quote for plantation shutters for like 18 bucks a square foot. Keep that in mind when you're, if you, and that, that's these type of shutters right here. 18 bucks a square foot. And they build those custom. Oh, geez, I think I just walked into the spider again. Oh no, it's up there now. Okay. <laughs> All right, and once again, this is the Savannah, and then we're going to go next into the Remerton. So this one's 2423 on the square footage. 2423. There it is one more time. And making our way next door. And this, uh, I don't know which exteriors these are. Alrighty. So this is a two story. Here's your front porch. A rummer tin, five beds, four and a half baths, 31, 86. Good size. This is probably the size I need. And this is all trimmed up as well. It's going a different, different way. Super cool. All right, so right when you walk in, feels feels wide. Say about seven feet, probably the same width as the other home. And we're gonna head into the uh, front bedroom here with the bathroom. Seeing this on a lot of new builds where they have the bathroom attached to the front here for your guests. Didn't see it on the last one, but. Closet. Is there a closet in here? I don't know. Oh yeah, there was. Okay, missed this. Totally missed this door. Let's check out this closet. Yeah, just a simple small closet. All right. Good size room. That wasn't bad. Okay, walking in. Put your dining room over to the right. Living room. And kitchen and breakfast nook. Extended kitchen. Oh, I tell you, I like the one stories, but sometimes the two stories are really cool too. This one is. And here's the pantry. Nice large. Uh, Island here. In that backyard, let's go check it out. Here, I'll get you a shot to the front. So, let's 
get the back area here. Oh, oh, this one's really heavy. <laughs> okay. So, okay size porch here. It extends wide, but I feel like it doesn't go that far out depth wise. A little bit of a bigger yard here because um, the house doesn't take up a lot of it. You can see the neighbors over there. That one extends the one story. So if you want a larger yard, a two story might be the way to go. Simple yard. Okay. Let's close this door. All right, arms falling asleep. Let's switch arms. Okay. And here's your mudroom area when you come in from the garage. I should say the mud hallway. It's not really much of a room. So we're heading up here. You got the nice uh, railings. These are an upgrade. Usually it's just going to be drywall. But this is a really good look. He doesn't like that. So you got a loft up here. I like what they've done with the AB thing going on there with that wall. So a little loft which looks out the window to the neighbors. That color was the 2020 color of the year, Sherman Williams, some kind of navy blue. Learned that not too long ago. And uh, so the bathroom, Jack and Jellish tub. Interesting, it just kind of goes into the two hallways. So now we're in another hallway. So let me let me head back just so you guys know where we were at. So loft area, swing it around. And um, so once again, the stairs, if you we were coming up the stairs, we have these uh, this closet up here, linen closet. It says Lawson. Don't know what that means. Bath or bedroom and bathroom. Um, See, so and you know, we'll notice some builders are just putting a bathroom in every almost every bedroom. So. So heading over here, this was the bathroom that shared over to go right there. That's where we came out earlier. Laundry room is good size. Nice built-ins here. I don't know what that white stuff is. Um, master bed, master bedroom. Doesn't feel huge, could be bigger. Of course, that's trimmed out as well. Sorry, I got this paper in my hand. That's what you guys are hearing. And just to let you know, price-wise, this starts at um, four thirty-one for the uh, lowest priced elevation. Elevation meaning the not the height, but the um, the front of it, how it looks. So here's the bathroom, party shower, becoming popular. Interesting. So, I'm guessing that's the, uh, well, that's the ladies' area, maybe, and that's the men's area. I don't know. You don't have to, you don't have to fight over that. So, one in closet. And, nice size, uh, nice size master closet here. That'll do the trick. So not the largest room, but it's fine. Went that way already, so I'm gonna head head back this way. We got some more rooms over here, so two more rooms. So you got one here, the horse lover's room. This would be my daughter's room. Like random pictures of horses on there. 
decent sized closet. Here's how close you are to the neighbors, just to. And with new builds, they're just stacking them on top of each other, trying to get away with as little space in between the next house as possible. And look at this one. This would be Taylor's room because it's kind of crazy decorative. That is a fun bike. Look at that thing. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's a Jimmy Buffett bike. So... Apparently they don't have a garage, so they just put it in their room upstairs. <laughs> what people do for decor these days, right? And there's that bathroom again, so these two have access to that bathroom, which is helpful. Yeah, overall, uh, cool house. You'll have to decide if the floor plan's right for you. It's definitely different than what I've been in. So, and once again, this is uh, Beezer at Harvest, and this is their, uh, I think, Vidalia at Harvest community. So it's different. It's going to be different than the last, uh, the other Beezer, but if you want, watch those videos. Something made noise back there. It kind of scared me. All right. Take a look at this one more time. Very cool. Be sure to subscribe and all that fun stuff, right? If you made it this far. Well, we didn't look in this closet. It's locked. I knew it. All right, and that's Beezer, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop.